Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace, Gemini. I am Cherokee with Tellum Tribe Tarot coming to you with another love reading. This is video number three of 12 in the Decoding Love Gemini and their Flirtatious Partners series. So we're going to find out if you have anything to worry about, Gemini. Nine times out of ten, if you're worried, it's either one of two things. It's because you are overthinking this thing, you're insecure about your position in the relationship, or the deal is actually happening and you just wanted confirmation. Either way, I hope I can provide some insight for you. This video is for Gemini versus Scorpio. All right, so let's go ahead and get you serenaded and then we'll get into your reading. All right, Gemini, Gemini and Scorpio. Let's go ahead and tap in. We're going to ask our beautiful angel, spirit guides, ancestors, tarot cards to please provide us with the guided messages for Gemini and Scorpio. I hope you're feeling great today. I hope that life is being kind to you. And most importantly, you're being kind to yourself and that you're getting things done or resting if need be but either way just know that you're right where you need to be even if it doesn't seem as though that is the space that you should be in um you know life is rather strange at times and you just need to be purposeful live in the moment and you will see that as always the best is yet to come so is your partner a serial flirt hmm we're going to find out. Take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Say it with me this time. I am going to take what resonates and I am going to leave behind what does not apply to me. And if it does not apply to me, I am still going to be a kind human being. And I will not comment anything crazy in the comments. I'll just say hello like Cherokee likes. And I'll leave the video and seek something else that may pertain to me. Or say nothing at all. Okay. Okay, so drop a comment to say hello to a goddess because you know I love it when you say hello and let's vibe out. All right, Gemini. So here we are. The Four of Swords. The Six of Cups. The Knight of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. All right, Gemini. So do you trust your Scorpio when they're not around? And that position, that card is in the position of the Four of Swords. And I feel like in this connection, you have separated yourself from the idea or tried to separate yourself from the idea that they're out and about doing what they're not supposed to when they're when you're not around um i feel like this relationship has been one of those connections that feels like home for you and you're careful about it um You try not to think about it. I, f I see that you you have rested yourself from the idea because it's sickening for you to even imagine that your Scorpio would be given the attention that is meant for you to someone else. So I feel like you just kind of rested your, your, your thoughts, um, disconnected from the idea with the Four of Swords. 
and figured out ways to distract yourself by just living and knowing that when this person comes home to you, they're with you. But you haven't asked this question in vain. There's something here that triggered this question to come about. But I don't feel like you lose your shit when they're not around. But sometimes you may give the, give, give the thought a side eye. But you've been doing whatever you need to do to make sure that you stay grounded and not get caught up in the idea that they could be doing anything that would be unacceptable if you were in the same space with them as these unacceptable things were occurring. So does your partner initiate flirting or attention or do they respond or do they only respond when it comes their way? Hmm. That's the question you want to know, don't you, Gemini, about your Scorpio? Well, I feel like your person is uh, the type of person that would allow things to flow naturally. And they are that of the emotional type. And they like to keep the peace. They've always been this type of person where they were the peacemaker in situations from growing up till now. And people are naturally drawn to them to provide, to be the voice of reason. And I feel like they are kind and courteous. And I don't think that they go out looking to initiate these type of connections. But those type of connections naturally happen with this person because they have, they have that spirit of concern or that spirit of healing they're like a healer so it's not necessarily flirting but it's just the gift that they have and if you're not careful it may look that way because of how calm they are and how easy they are to converse with so i don't believe that they go out initiating a flirting situation but i feel like other people may flirt with them and they go with the flow in the sense of not being disrespectful. So as of right now, I don't feel like this is something that you have to worry about, Gemini, with your person, whether you're married or you're just in a connection that with someone, whether it's your situationship, your significant other, whatever you're calling it, but it's your person. So does your partner accuse you of it? And I feel like they do. I feel like your partner feels like you're the one that flirts a lot in this connection, Gemini. What's on the bottom of the deck? The seven of pentacles. This is a relationship that, this is a relationship that took a lot of patience to get to this point. A lot of investments, a lot of time, a lot of conversations, a lot of breaking up to make up, um, a lot of give and take. And I feel like although you trust your person, I think the real problem is if there even is a problem per se, it's that you don't trust yourself. And this is not about your partner at all. Because Gemini, what it looks like is that you may be trying to project what you feel and what you do naturally. You know that you're not stepping out on your person, but you know that you can flirt and make someone else feel good 
from a distance or give a compliment or have a conversation to compliment someone or just strike up something to make someone feel good about themselves and leave it at that. And because you know how easily you could flip the scale for it to turn into something else, you're now looking at your person who is this earthy type emotional being in, whose intuition is strong and people are naturally attracted to them. You're seeing that they may not know when to divert that energy, but they haven't given you any reason to feel as if they are doing anything out of the ordinary. So the matter is here that you don't trust yourself, but this is not a person that you should be worried about. And I'm very happy to report this. I feel that sometimes you don't know how to communicate your insecurity. I feel that sometimes you may feel as if your thoughts grapple you in a manner that strong arms you to believe things that are not true. And then you end up doing the very same thing that you may be accusing your partner of, which is why sometimes they may come off as cold or not understanding now are you afraid that this person may be stepping out on you I feel like you feel like they're close to their best friend there's this person that's in their life that they've known from their childhood and I feel like you think they're a bit too close but I think deep down, you know that nothing is happening. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles, I think it's challenging you, Gemini, to invest your time into um, more progressive things. Things that'll be more progressive for your relationship. I feel like you spend a lot of time on pointing the finger and it's time to put that finger down and to invest that time into seeing how you can have a more fulfilling connection with your partner and you can only do this by working with your partner. I feel like this is going to be a constant work work in progress where you if you notice the communication here can sometimes be misrepresented with the thoughts that you create in your downtime and then you have this person biting back like it's not me that's doing this shit it's you and you need to take responsibility for what you're doing and what i am not This person is an endearing and calm, cool, collected person, but they're eccentric and they are so um, well liked and they're a peacemaker. Bring out the best in your person by encouraging them to be who they are and letting them know that you accept them and, and, and ask yourself, how can you be less of the person that you are accusing them of being? Because you work really well together. I'm going to pull an oracle card for you to close this reading out. Because you have a good person by your side, Gemini. And I don't want you to lose out on this connection. You have a very good person by your side. And I don't want you to lose out on this connection. So let's get some, let's, let's get some love in the mix let's talk about the love what what does the love oracle card say balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges so what you're experiencing right now gemini is completely normal when you love someone and you care about them you want to Show them off to the world, but at the same time, you want those personal experiences that you share to be bottled and to be yours and yours only. 
but the beauty of human nature and the energy that we all exude as human beings is to connect and we can't be selfish about that so you have to look within to see what are the things that are going on within you why you feel that you want to bottle your person's natural essence and hold it for yourself you may be experiencing some kind of abandonment issues from the past where people always left you behind this person isn't going anywhere they might be a little you know they might come off a little abrasive at times they might not say exactly what you want to hear sometimes but that's just one little small thing about them and no one is perfect when you learn to accept people as they are and work with them and work through the challenges that's how you grow a stronger connection you cannot expect someone to not be who they are you can only decide if you can be that right person for them as they're being who they are and hope that they do the same for you. All right. So I hope this reading resonates with someone. If you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box. Subscribe to my channel, share the video to share the wealth and see you in video number four of 12 with Gemini versus their Sagittarius. Love and light tribe.